Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel in the Notaro 1122. Alright, so let's get into this thing for Scorpio. Scorpio, what is coming towards you in 2024? Alright, keep in mind that these are general messages. They're not going to resonate with everyone, so please take what fits and leave the rest, okay? I forgot I have my robe on the back of my chair. Alright. I'm over. All right, let's see. Three messages for Scorpio for 2024. Let's survive for Scorpio for 2024. All right, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, look in the description box for the link to my website. All right, so we have power here. And automatically, I got your power is being restored. Look at this. All right. Also, we have balance. So things are balancing out for you in 2024. Looks like, look, um, I don't know what you're doing here, but it looks like you might be stepping into a new beginning with a new attitude. All right. And I'm here in Patty LaBelle. I got a new attitude. All right. There's that. All right. Also, I see you manifesting a lot of things in your life. Things are coming together for you. Possibly your money. He might have some love going on here and a couple of brand new beginnings. All right. So just be mindful of things coming back from the past here, sweetheart. Okay. You got a lot of opportunities coming here for you. A lot. And there may be something or someone that wants to pull you back into a situation that you possibly uh, took a lot of strength, a lot of a lot of courage to walk away from to find your peace your balance here things may be coming to fruition for you and then on top of that it looks like you might have a connection coming for you that looks like a soulmate so just be mindful of going back to the past sweetheart um if you left the past alone uh there might not be something there for you i'm just saying there might not be anything there for you especially if it was a toxic connection be mindful of somebody trying to pull you back into something, like I said, that you've already let go of, okay? It might take a minute for you to release this heartache, this pain here, but with strength and tenacity, okay, and determination, you will actually get through this, okay? And don't give up hope. There's that, that face of, <laughs> look, that um, mustard seed of faith. Here we go. All right, there's some type of emotional loss here that you were going through a change in your life look what did i tell you be careful of that temptation all right all right all right and i'm also getting here that it's just a matter of time before this person pops up or this situation arises all right someone here may be you know feeling that it's a little bit too hard to move out of a situation or um kind of second guessing should i just move on should i close the door should i do something different absolutely all right if you're experiencing the same thing day in day out day in and day out why not try something new you know it's kind of like uh when you're repeating cycles with someone it's kind of like the movie groundhog day when oh boy he wakes up and it's the same day over and over and over again there's nothing that changes so in order to receive some change in, in your life, if the people around you um, have not changed, the sweetheart, uh, you are the deciding factor. You need to make things change yourself, okay? So it does look like you have a solid foundation coming here. Stability, this could be a happy family, happy house, happy spouse, you know what I mean? A new connection coming in here for you, and then there's this temptation. So just be mindful. Give me messages for... Scorpio disruptions see look at this somebody was dealing with a situation that there was no forward movement a lot of blocks and things like that someone here could have actually tried to keep you in a situation or a connection where there was no growth possibly uh, breakups to makeups um, stop go little bit of progress five steps forward 15 steps back okay so there's that also don't stand in your own way of making progress here all right negative mindsets thinking stinking thinking i'm never going to get what i want or I'm never never get better than what this is right here what i've experienced okay this is the best i've ever had is it really all right and if it's not up to par here sweetheart why would you hold on to that all right 
someone here, like I said, they may have had a hard time moving away from a situation here. So you may have been relying on your your um, your spiritual connection here, your connection with Source. A lot of prayer, a lot of 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 jeez, spending a, a lot of time alone in solitude, trying to get some clarity about this situation, so you can make a decision. Okay, and you possibly have been asking Source to kind of like, you know, drop some diamonds on you to help you get out of this situation here as well. And also what I'm seeing here too is that somebody may have been repeating a cycle with someone or someones and eventually someone learned a lesson here and decides to move on. Let's see, give me messages. Yep, passion ignited. There's a new beginning. Fertility here. For some of you, there's a pregnancy coming here, okay? Um, this is clarifying the waiting game. Like I said, somebody has to make a decision to walk away from something that brings them nothing but drama, confusion, heartache, and no growth, okay? That temptation there is pretty much the devil card. What does the devil offer? Exactly everything that you want in a nice, neat package, but... It doesn't tell you that there is the fine print there, okay? When you sign your name on the dotted line, uh, the devil always comes up with something. He'll dangle a carrot in your face, bring you the person that looks like the person that you want. They smell good. They, they talk like you want them to talk. They're very knowledgeable. Possibly, you know, a little, little worldly out there, you know, possibly well-read, well-traveled, whatever. It looks good, but on the inside, all right, it's a totally different thing, sweetheart, okay? You you enter the darkness. Oh, my goodness. All right, so there's that. Just be mindful of attaching yourself to certain people, especially when it comes to soul ties and also, um, you know, bonding with that person through sex, okay? So there's that, all right? But you got a brand new beginning here. It's just taking a little bit of time, sweetheart. You might be like, you know what? I'm ready for my person. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this, all right? And Source is like, I know you might be ready, sweetheart, but there's some things over here that you got to work on, okay? No shade, but your person that I have coming for you may not be ready either, okay? But you got something good coming if you can just be patient and hold on, okay? There's some other things that I need for you to focus on. Some of you need to focus on your your foundation, you know, your finances here or whatever. Some of you are taking classes, going to school, trying to get your education on. You understand what I'm saying? Or it could be your person, I don't know. But whatever it is here... Source is telling you it's all coming together for the benefit of your good. You just have to be patient, okay? A lot of things coming to it towards you, sweetheart, but it's not in your time and it's in divine time and it's in God's time, okay? But a lot of growth, a lot of expansion, possibly for some of y'all, a lot of money. And like I said, some of you, there's pregnancy here as well, okay? Possibly real quick. I'm telling you, I cannot make it up. Whoever this is here, you need to follow your intuition and leave that door closed here, sweetheart, okay? There's a world of wonders out there for you. The universe, God, source, whoever your higher power is, has more for you outside of that situation, outside on the other side of that door than they do being stuck here, all right? What comes with this is a lot of heartache. A lot of disappointment. Some of you were possibly betrayed in ways that, you know, we really don't want to go here in this situation, okay? Third parties and all that. But follow your intuition. You already know. You've dealt with this person before. Or this situation, okay? It's time to walk away from it. It's causing disruptions, okay? So, also, we're seeing stand your ground. Yes, look at this. You got a brand new beginning coming towards you. There's that door. Close it, all right? Nothing there for you anymore. Absolutely. Someone here may be really in conflict about letting someone go. All right. This just made me want to grab some more cards here. Um, I'm, I'm going to just keep it like it is. Give me messages about this situation for Scorpio, please. And thank you. Planning something. Okay. Look at this. Somebody could be planning something to come towards you here. All right, there could be a significant date of it that's of, of importance to you and this person here. I don't know. Maybe you're planning something yourself. There could be a trip here, but I think someone is actually planning to come towards you. It could be a birthday, Valentine's Day, New Year's. I don't know. Somebody may show up on your doorstep. 
all right or you might get that phone call that text hey what you doing how you doing i just wanted to tell you you know happy new year i'm thinking about you and for some of you that is the way of a person to get back into your life through that conversation okay so you got to be mindful of who you entertain and what you entertain okay all right let's see give me messages can i get one more or two more thank you okay overwhelmed and distracted here oh no you might be feeling overwhelmed and distracted all right my dog put it in here oh my god okay so anyway yeah important dates actually came up okay cutting something off look at this all right death ending cutting something off all right some of someone here also might be having some financial issues here as well it this could be this person that's coming towards you all right so this <laughs> all right this person could actually be going through some type of financial difficulties or whatever i don't know someone here could be going through something here with your finances if it is then um you need to kind of get on top of this because there's a, a deadline here. For some of you, it could be taxes. I don't know. But there's some type of debt or loan here, all right, that is coming up here. For some of you, this could be a student loan before the interest goes up. I don't know. Uh, hold on one second. see this could have to do with finances somebody really could be coming towards you because they're having financial issues here sweetheart okay so be mindful of somebody trying to come in and move in with you Someone here might see that you're working, you're doing your thing here, making money, and they might be like, hey, you know what, I think if you put what you got and I put what I got, you know, <laughs> we could actually, you know, kind of do a lot better, you know, I'm just saying, it's a win-win situation, but is it? It might look good on paper, but sweetheart, sometimes you got to deal with some people that, you know, don't bring anything good in your life and it ends up in disappointment okay so there's that give me messages regarding the situation please and thank you anything that we need to know give me messages about this person coming towards scorpio this could be a king of pentacles here let's see all right you might have somebody coming in with some type of apology there could be silence between you two yeah the six of six of cups was just sticking out here all right, so this could be someone that you are not speaking with, okay? All right. This could be somebody that you have a lot of feelings uh, for, too. Look at this. This person might see you happy and thriving and doing your thing, just enjoying life, and here they come with communication. Yep, I told you. There's that past person. Watching, lurking, looking, begging. <laughs> I'm just saying, hold on, let's see. This person may come in wanting something from you, like I said, but it's not going to be equal give and take. Ooh, and I didn't even look at this. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. Absolutely not. Scorpio, run. Run. Okay, look at that. That is horrible. That is horrible. This, mm, mm, this person looks better going than they do coming, right? Absolutely not. Somebody here could have actually caught a case. Somebody could be going to jail or could have went to jail already. I don't know. And there could have been an argument, disagreement before this person went to jail or... This person could have possibly went to jail because of an argument or fighting here. Oh, yes. Look at this. Look at this. This is messy as I don't know what. Absolutely not. What we're not getting ready to do is entertain that. How about it's a no for me? And it's a oh, hell no for me. Mm -mm. We're not doing that. 
We're going to do a lot of things, but that is a no. All right, give me messages, please, and thank you. All right. Oh, look at this. You got a liar here. Mm -hmm. Somebody is lying about their finances here, lying about their stability here. And they are lying about their sincerity. Look at this. Okay, somebody is trying to keep you stuck, baby. All right, but you're going to find out the truth. All right, I don't think you're going to invest too much emotion in this situation. This person has hurt you, so now you're kind of like, you know what? The math ain't math, and it, it, it's, it's not making sense to me. So let me kind of just watch this person for a little bit. Yeah, and I see. Ooh, you better kick this person to the curb. Kick it to the curb and kick it so far it can never come back. You understand what I'm saying? You got something beautiful for you. And this person possibly knows it too. And guess what? They are trying to come back your way. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is that how do I break the silence? How do I get Scorpio to acknowledge me? Did Scorpio block me? I don't know, but I got to make this good when I call. When I call, Because, you know, we rock, we're not really uh, seeing eye to eye here. So I'm kind of... You know, wondering, how do I get back into Scorpio's good graces? Mm, okay, so guess what? The holidays are upon us. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. All I want to say is, look, and even my voice is starting to get, all right, it's messing with my throat chakra. All right, let's see. Somebody don't know what to say. This person might actually start trying to clear their throat when they talk to you. <clears throat> let, me, let me clear my throat. I'm just saying. Look at this. All right. So you have communication coming in. Look, this person is going to reach out. Okay. And try to come in with some BS. Okay. They're going to swoop right on in up to talking fast or whatever. This person has possibly wronged you too. And they're not going to give you an apology. If it's an apology, it's a half-ass apology. Okay. Just enough to get your... Let your guard down a little bit. But this person is going to come in here smooth talking, fast talking. And then guess what? This person doesn't know that you've been connecting with the Most High in solitude. Just like, you know, regrouping and grounding. You know what I mean? And this person is taking for granted that, you know, you will just depend on that love that you have for them. And go for the okie doke. But what this person doesn't know is that Scorpio is a high priestess here. Mm. We are, don't you know we see you coming, okay? We know what a lie is, and now we know who you are. We see how you move, how you operate, and things like that. And Scorpio, you may have actually hung around this person long enough to actually see how they work with other people. So now that you two are on the outs, now you know what to expect from this person, okay? You're not going for the okie doke. You're about to walk away. Like I said, you look better going than you do coming. All right? So, there's that. Give me more messages, please. And this is heartbreaking here. Absolutely. Look at this. Ooh, didn't I tell you your person sees that you got something good coming for you? Look at this. And they know it. They know it. They know you got something good coming. And this person is trying to keep you off balance. Why is the Six of Cups here? They want a new beginning with you. Uh-huh. I'm telling you. Look. I'm clarifying the Six of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Look at that. I told you. This person is coming in to cause division, cause confusion. Okay? Especially some of you or someone here could already be dealing with somebody new. And this person knows that you actually had a thing for them. You possibly hung out. Um, hung in this relationship for a minute with this person's BS and their shenanigans here and you just decided you know what enough is enough now I got somebody new now somebody is threatened and they want to see if they can get back in somebody's a little salty here okay just a little angry upset they want to reunite okay there's that this person's very narcissistic oh oh my god all right so why is the six of pentacles here Don't you want me to let me get back in? 
I'm just saying. You know, once upon a time, we was happy. But Scorpio's like, yeah, you know what? That might have seemed cool, but I also remember that I was doing all the giving in this relationship, okay? Everything was on my dime, my time, and things like that. You were not giving equally. I'm giving all this love, this positive energy, this reinforcement, letting you know that I'm here for you. And you're not giving it back in return. You want to act like this. Okay, any and everybody was more important than me. You got this to do. You got that to do. So check this out. I found somebody over here. or I'm about to find somebody over here that's willing to give me something solid and happiness. My wish fulfillment. Some of you have already found it. And this person is looking and listening like the tower. Oh, my God. What do you mean, Scorpio? What do you mean? Let's work on this. We got to try. The devil is a liar. So is his mother-in-law and all his cousins. All right. You let this person go on and do what they got to do, baby. Okay? Because you got some beautiful things. You got beautiful things coming for you. So why, why take mess up a for sure for a maybe? This ain't even a maybe. You are. This is a mishap. You already know what this person is about okay, over here. Okay? So, Scorpio... I'm going to tell you to go on and do the doggone thing here, sweetheart. If you've left this person in the past, it is in the past. Okay, let this person go. All right, so Scorpio for 2024, what's happening is you opening the door for a lot of people. All right, you got to go, got to go. Matter of fact, move over. Somebody else is coming in. Okay, so let's see what else we got going on. Don't hurt nobody. I'm just saying. Scorpio ain't playing up in here. <laughs> Let's see. Give me messages, please, for Scorpio. All right. Let's see. Y'all got to forgive me. I had a cup of coffee late. So, there's that. I got a client at 11 p.m. So, I got to stay a little awake. Stay awake. Give me messages for Scorpio. What's in store for 2024 for Scorpio? Yo, whoever that is coming towards you is a hot mess, literally. A broke hot mess. Alright, let's see. Perspective. You're seeing things from a new perspective, sweetheart, okay? Take the first steps towards a new direction. Alright, some of you have basically, like I said, you're spending more time with self-source. Alright, getting in alignment. Um, you know, it's kind of a trip because sometimes people are so worried about trying to find their person they haven't even bothered to find themselves okay um i'm gonna just keep it 100 there's a lot of times you can actually see why a person is single and they can't see it within themselves okay some people you know they do little shady little things on the side and and think nobody sees it um i see a lot of just don't say nothing but what you fail to realize is that source sees everything you understand so before you get a blessing, you got to make sure that, you know, before you get blessed, you got to make sure that you're clearing up your mess here, okay? Because God ain't going to bless no mess. I'm just saying. Why would Source bring someone in your life that is capable of loving you correctly and being up and up, you know, and not about the shenanigans and things like that, and then allow someone in their life to steal on that BS? You understand? So, a lot of times what we want or who we want is on pause because somebody still got some work to do okay not saying that that's you it could be a person hell all of us got work to do you know what i'm saying but someone here may have really sat themselves down and said you know what hey check this out i know there's some things going on in my life that allowed me to allow certain people in my life that are are not uh you know for my highest good and I need to work on that. Sometimes you go within and you do some shadow work. You find out that, yeah, you got some trauma bonds from some things that happened in the past. All right. And it kind of makes you gravitate to people who actually it kind of makes doesn't it kind of seems kind of crazy, but it's true. Sometimes you gravitate towards the people that, you know, kind of remind you of the people that hurt you. OK, like in other words, if you grew up in a family where, you know, uh, you had parents that were very narcissistic, uh, detached, or whatever, emotionally detached, or whatever. Sometimes you have a habit of uh, going towards those type of people in relationships, okay? And like I always say, 
if you don't go within and heal and also do some shadow work and realize that there's something that's making you gravitate to these type of energies, sweetheart, you will end up with the same person, okay? In other words, a different body, the same spirit, and it will actually travel with you. If you, you guys seen that movie with Denzel Washington and, and uh, John Goodman called Fallen, and the demon Azazel, all he did was just get near to someone or touch them, and then that spirit jumps, okay? So, it's almost like that. Not saying that the spirit is body hopping. It might just be. I'm just saying. But you'll end up with the same person. You understand over and over again. Just a different body, sweetheart. Okay? Same characteristics and all of that. And if you don't believe me, for those of you that may have ended up in situations like that, go back and look at all of your relationships. I can almost guarantee you 155% that those people have something in common. It has nothing to do with looks or whatever it could be. But there's something about their behavior that is actually pulling you in. Somebody here may have gone in and reflected on that and said, you know what, whoa, this person is like pops, grandpa, moms. You understand what I'm saying? That first dude, the first chick that I was with. You understand? So, so like I said, someone here is going within and looking at things from a different perspective. So, mm, and connecting to the most high. Beautiful. You understand what I'm saying? Getting those downloads, that clarity, like I said earlier, okay? And somebody big mad that you moving on here, sweetheart. And somebody is also big mad that you see them. Hmm. All right, don't you know I can see you? Look at that. Ask for guidance. Look at this. All just connected all up with source, all right? You are not alone. All right, so you know what? What um. I can't make it up. We have failure here looking at things from a different perspective and asking for God. And sweetheart, someone here is going within, doing some shadow work, connecting with source, and asking why are my relationships not working out? What happened with this one? You understand? Because I need some answers. I need some clarity here, okay? Source is like, oh, okay. I got you. Have a seat. Let me let me learn you some things. You understand? Let me let me show you some things, and I'm gonna open your eyes too. All right, you're gonna start seeing people and seeing things from a different perspective. And I'm telling you, it's like when you see some of those movies where all of a sudden you're real up close, and then all of a sudden the realization comes in, and all of a sudden the person zoomed way back. Now you can get a broader perspective of the picture. Okay, what's really going on? And also, you gotta look at people not only in the 5D, but I mean in the 3D, but you better look at these people from the 5D, sweetheart, because you are dealing with um, spirits here. All right, there's that. Go out, Mo. Out. Okay, give me more, please, and thank you. And I'm sorry. Back to the reading. I am, but I'm not. It's time to clear your energy from this negative stuff here. Forgive. Don't forget. Take those lessons with you and utilize them in the future, okay? Set some healthy boundaries for other people and also mainly for yourself here, sweetheart, because without those boundaries, you will allow people in your life that do not belong there, okay? Definitely going through a metamorphosis here, okay? Healing. Also, recognizing who you are, your strengths, all right? Um, I'm going to leave the rest of that alone, okay? Because someone here might be... You know, going through it. Well, I'm not. I'm saying it now. Somebody here might be feeling some type of way. Feeling that they need a relationship or something like that in order to feel whole. Sweetheart, you are whole without this person. Okay? Even if you came into this world with twins, you were still born one at a time. You understand? So you can stand on your own. When you come in this world by yourself, and guess what? When you leave, you still going to be by yourself. Even if you are holding somebody else's hand, sweetheart. Every man's death is his own okay so enjoy yourself get to love on yourself and appreciate yourself all right you are beautiful you are blessed you are amazing you are a child of the most high okay and wonderfully blessed okay and love so love on yourself all right and don't allow somebody to treat you some type of way but first of all don't you allow yourself to treat you like you're nothing you understand there's that there's definitely change coming here for you source is about to open some doors for you okay you're about to change directions do things differently and i'm gonna tell you one thing too when you start changing your whole circle is about 
to change too. Some people are going to like it and some people won't. Oh well, that's their problem. And what do I always say? We're going to let them have it, right? Okay, because we don't have time to be studying on other people. All right, taking a pause. Oh my God. Scorpio, I love your reading. I don't know who this is for, sweetheart, but someone here is literally taking a pause to connect with self and source and allow source to mold you, okay? Mend you and mold you and transform you into who you came to be, okay? Stepping into your soul's purpose and taking your power back. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Someone here is also stepping into their gifts here as well. Give me messages. The light, Carolyn. Step into the light. Absolutely. Okay, so breaking a, a toxic cycle here. All right. Also, you may have felt very dark, very depressed, sad, you know. But the thing is, is that, sweetheart, I'm going to put it to you like this. If you're dealing with energies that are very negative, all right, and especially if you land down with it, you procreating it with it, sweetheart. That is in it's it's invited into your home. So what you got to do is rebuke it and mute it, delete it, block it, do whatever it is that you need to do. If you have children with it, you limit your time with dealing with this person. Okay, there's that, but don't let anybody dim your light. Like I said, somebody here has possibly been going through a lot of emotional baggage here, sweetheart. And it's time to let that go and it's time to live, all right? And find yourself first. Enjoy being with yourself first before you invite anybody else into your life. Because if you are not content with self, sweetheart, you are going to smother the hell out of somebody. When they come in, you are going to be all over that person. And that person will leave because, golly, you understand what I'm saying? So there's that, all right? Be content with yourself. Be happy. Uh, I'm just saying, get to know self, get to know source, and allow God to bring somebody in your life, okay? Don't just open the door to just anybody and everybody. Absolutely, don't settle for less than what you deserve. All right, and like I said, sweetheart, you are not alone. You got a whole spirit team working with you, okay? There's that. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so pretty much I see you cleaning the house, all right? Cleaning the house, taking your power back, and actually discovering who you are. Look at that. I love it. Look at that. Spiritual awakening. 11-11. Split the deck there. Look at this. Spiritual awakening, new beginning, and dreams manifesting are near. Confirmation. Your guides affirm that you are on the right path, sweetheart, okay? Reading over. <laughs> Let me just get a couple of these for you, and then I'm going to get on up out of here. But Scorpio, all I can say is 2024, that is your year, sweetheart. You got some new love coming in and getting rid of this old baggage, okay? And also, I see that you're um, stepping into your purpose. And you know what's the trip is because... Sometimes we got to go through a little bit of something so that we can learn a lot and we can pass that information on to others, okay? So, I'm just saying, I know I've learned a lot. Ugh. Trust your intuition. Look, 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 look. Soul connection. More than just a three-dimensional. I told you. You got a soulmate coming in here, sweetheart. Trust your intuition. Don't question your instincts. The vibes you are picking up are real. Absolutely. In this connection and in others, okay? Because I know a lot of times we go through, you know what, I knew this was going to happen. Absolutely, you did. All right? And there's that shadow work there. All right? So, embrace your shadow self. That's the only way out. So, go within, look at it. it might, you might not like it, sweetheart, but it is what it is. That's part of you. Embrace it. But also, if you got to change some things, get in there and fix it. All right? I'm just saying. It's okay. We understand how we ended up that way. It doesn't mean that we have to stay that way, okay? Recharge. Take some time to unplug for the world from the world and recharge your energy. Absolutely. That's that spending that time alone in, in hermit. Not necessarily in hermit, but um, just like I said, enjoying yourself. Some people really have a hard time being by themselves. It, to the point to where it drives them crazy. That's a problem. All right. If you are uncomfortable being by yourself, what makes you think that other people are going to be comfortable being in close quarters with you all the time? All right. When that when that happens, sweetheart, you put too much pressure on a person to keep you entertained, keep you company, keep you. You understand what I'm saying? It should be relaxed. Relax. All right. 
Some of you are releasing a toxic connection. I told you. And you're stepping into your soul's purpose. All right. Toxic connection. Unhealthy, harmful relationship. Not vibrating on the same frequency. So why would you allow this person back into your life? All right. Soul's purpose. Only you need to understand your journey and what your soul calling is. Absolutely. Like I was saying earlier, everybody is not going to like your journey. That's not for them to understand, sweetheart. That's between you and Source, okay? There's that. All right, dream time. Pay attention to your dreams, sweetheart. Your dreams reveal important messages and visions from the divine. Now, you might be getting some downloads and things like that. Sweetheart, you might not, You might already know that this person is coming towards you, what they're going to say, what they're planning, and all this other kind of stuff, okay? Also, if any of you have any loved ones that are passed on and you're dreaming about them, what are they saying? What are they doing? What's going on around them? What are they trying to tell you? Pay attention to that. For me, it's my grandmother. If I dream about my grandmother, hey, I know something's getting ready to happen in three days. I'm watching, looking, learning. I'm absorbing, okay? What's going on? I need to know. Because that's letting me know something is going on with my family, okay? Close to me, okay? And it says overthinking. Quiet your mind and channel your higher self for guidance. Absolutely, okay? So, shh, pusa. All right, connect with source. And then also, do you know what happens when you stop getting so distracted and not thinking about what's going wrong in your life? You start looking at all the beautiful blessings that happen in your life. And also, you start replaying conversations and interactions and things like that. And you start seeing things from a different perspective. Like, you know what? So-and-so said blah, 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 blah. That person was actually... You see what I'm saying? So be okay with being by yourself. Quiet your mind here, sweetheart, and find some find your center. All right. One of the cards that came out was nature. I don't know where you guys are, but if you can go outside, get get your feet in some grass or whatever it is. Go hug a tree, talk to a tree, whatever it is. Look at some flowers, some butterflies, whatever. If you can't do that, get you some nice house plants. The pothos is one of the ones. It's it's uh it's um it's a, a, a family. It's in the ivy family. So all you need is one. That one plant could turn into 50 or however many you want. Spider plants too. Go spend $10, $15 at Walmart or, or Home Depot, wherever you got. Whatever that is, that other place is. I uh, forgot what it is. I really can't think of it either. But anyway, go there and get you one or two of them plants, sweetheart. I'm telling you, you'll end up with a jungle in your house. But... It's a place where you can woo And also, plants absorb negative energy. They turn that stuff into oxygen, okay? So there's that. I'm just saying. Do something for you. All right. Find you a little corner somewhere where you can meditate and just vibe and chill. Throw you on some little music or whatever where you can sit there and pray and talk to Source and all of that, okay? All right, it says uh, empath, the ability to channel and collect the emotions of other neg negative and positive, negative and positive. I'm talking fast, my bad. All right, incantation magic. You have a powerful tongue. You will see what you speak. Okay, and good news, unexpected positive outcome. Many good things are coming. They are. All right, now, sweetheart, I'm gonna put it to you like this. You could be an empath. A lot of us. Um, we can actually absorb other people's energies like it says you know you can be sitting next to somebody and that person might not say a word but you can feel that person's unease that sadness you know that anger it just vibrates off of them okay after all we are beings that are made out of energy okay so you can feel that fluctuation uh, especially if you're walking in a room full of people you can kind of feel the energy in that room okay so if you're going through sadness depression some of these things some of that energy might not be yours it's another reason why you got to be careful who you allow in your home and who you allow in your bed sweetheart okay there's that there's energy transference happening there okay so especially if you're dealing with somebody that happens to sleep with a lot of people you got to be careful there okay and also uh you got some good things coming here for you absolutely but um scorpio please be careful of what you speak okay you speak abundance over your life you speak uh um positivity in your life success over your life don't woe is me okay i don't have this and when is this happening and when is this gonna come and i never this and this always happens sweetheart i'm putting it to you like this just like your writing is called spelling okay 
when you speak it out into the universe, you're telling the universe exactly what you want, sweetheart, okay? And guess what? All that complaining and negative energy, it goes right back out and it boomerangs. And it gains momentum. And it comes right back to you. And the universe like, oh, that's, that's what you wanted? Oh, okay, here's more. All right? So start speaking success over your life, peace over your life. Get out the house. Do something different. You understand? And don't be in the mindset like, you know, okay, well, I tried this and nothing happened. Keep doing it. You understand what I'm saying? You Results don't always pop up overnight, sweetheart. It's a, it's a work in progress. All right? So what I would say here is, um, I feel like I'm fussing at y'all, and I'm so sorry. My God. But what I'm going to say here, sweetheart, is 2024 is all about you. Someone here could have a pregnancy in 2024, too. All right, bringing your dreams to life. But 2024 is about closing old old doors, um, not leaning into temptation, and being serious about cutting off people who bring nothing but chaos and drama in your life, okay? Recycling situations that you've been through time and time again, okay? So, I'm just saying... I see a lot of beautiful things happening for you, coming for you. You got new people coming in. You got, I don't know if you got money. You got money coming in? Let's see. Dang, I've been here for a minute talking. I'm so sorry, y'all. It's been a minute since I read for y'all, too. Whoa. Okay, Scorpio, for real, I'm leaving the reading right here. Look, sweetheart, I don't think you got nothing to worry about a thing here, okay? Except for getting out of your head. Setting some boundaries with this person right here and speaking more positively over your life here, sweetheart, because you look good. You look blessed. I'm just saying. All right, y'all. Oh, absolutely. All right, my loves. I'm going to holler at y'all later, and I'll see you. I'll holler. Bye.